All right, guys. See here that you turn it to the far, far like right, it cracks. You turn it to the far left, it cracks. So this is basically how it looks when it's turned all the way out, and this is standing upright. This is like a bad base, basically. It's like leaning all the way over. Like I said, is all I'm doing is staying here demonstrating that this is not a good design. This is really bad. See? It's cracking. I would that's why I'm telling you guys don't waste your money because it's not it's not even worth buying one of these newer clean view of swivels. It just it makes a lot of crackling and popping noises. And to me that says it's not really a durable machine. I just wouldn't buy it. I would much rather go buy a shark rotator chew pot, which I did, bagless. I'd much rather use my shark rocket self-cleaning stick vacuum versus this any day, which I'll feel if you one these days soon, I'll have those in my old dirt devil feather light over this thing any day. So if I had to choose to not buy Bissell, which I won't, which I won't, because I don't really like Bissell. I would probably go with Eureka. Um, they have some pretty nice vacuums. Or I would probably go with a Heart vacuum from Walmart. I've never had the Heart vacuum before, which is, I, I believe, which is a uh, Walmart branded uh, vacuum. So that would be pretty much what they make. Black and Decker. Uh, wouldn't be. That would be like my fifth choice to go with for a machine. I wouldn't go. Um, and I wouldn't go with it unless I seen that the uh, reviews are good. I've never had one, so I would like to get a, uh, there's one called a, it's called a workhorse. And it's listed for like $79, $97 vacuum. It's an upright bag list. That would be pretty nice. Um, for bags, I would probably have to say, and it'd be hard to find. I had one growing up as a kid. I don't even know the model number to it. It was an all gray Electrolux upright. Had the hose. Like right here, it'd be your silver hard cover. And like I say, I would even go for a bagless Dirt Devil Dynamite, which I never even had. Um, I, I hear that their filtration is not great, but I've heard that you can put better filters in the machine to make it filter better. Um, I know you can take like sponges and stuff and always put like a thicker pad you know always replace the paper filter you know in most cases to block a lot of the dust from getting to the motor um the older bag dirt doubles are really good i grew up with those um i also my grandma had it it was a long time ago it was the Eureka, the boss bagged vacuum. It was pretty nice. Now, I don't know if she threw it out. I think she took it back and she got something else. But otherwise, if I was offered the vacuum, I would have taken it. One of the vacuums I would have loved to have had was my grandma's Orc XL. That was a pretty nice machine. That was a $500 vacuum. Like I said, that or the, um, it was a bag this will clean you. She got it from uh, Walmart. It was like I think at the time, I think it was, by now it's probably, probably still the same price, $39.99. But I'm not going to buy Bissell, because I don't like the Bissell, so I'll scratch that off the list. I would go for a, let me see, there's some odd Chinese brands. There's one I would like to have, Back Lab's got it, it's called the Miracle, Mir correct me if I'm saying it wrong, correct me if I'm saying it wrong, Back Lab, I believe it's called the Miracle. It's a cordless, it's a stick vac, and it self-cleans, which is pretty handy if you have pets with long hair or people that have long hair. Otherwise, you incur situations where their hair gets around the roller brush, which typically you just have to cut it off. But they can also be a royal pain, so. A sanitary, but that would have to be if I found it at Goodwill, of course, because like I say, brand new. Those are three to five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars and up. So, cause I've looked at I've looked at these before, 
in the Mid America vacuum store, so I know what they're priced at brand new. But I would definitely want a uh, wheel horse vacuum. Or even one of those uh, $80 uh, Eurekas. Those are not terrible. Hard vacuum would. I would have to try it because I've never owned it, so I can't really say on the end of things. But hope you guys enjoyed the video.